my granny. This is my grandmother, and this is my grandma. Seniors are very important. I love you, Bapcha. We need you. You are love. When the sun is bright, or in the darkest night, we're all in this together. I've got many friends, and you are one of them. We're all in this together. <laughs> My name is Liliana DeLeo, and I'm here to present Laughter Yoga. Laugh for health. Laugh for healing. It feels good to laugh. We like being with people who make us laugh. And in the last year, it's been somewhat of a challenge to be with people and laugh. Now, what is laughter yoga? Laughter yoga is a unique exercise where we laugh for no reason at all. No jokes, no humor, no comedy. The yoga in laughter yoga has to do with the breath, with the breathing, with the emphasis on the exhale on the sound of ha. Now, how do we initiate laughter if there are no jokes? Well, yeah, we force it. <laughs> now, here's what's interesting about this fake laughter, this simulated laughter. The body makes no distinction, regardless of whether the laughter is real or simulated you will still reap the physiological benefits of this exercise. And I will soon be going through all those benefits with you shortly. Now, who created laughter yoga? Laughter yoga was created by a family physician, a doctor by the name of Madan Kataria. Dr. Madan Kataria and his wife Madhuri, who is a yoga instructor. Back in 1995, Dr. Kataria was writing an article titled, Laughter is the Best Medicine. Now, he could see how laughter was beneficial. Patients who laughed more got better quicker. He was able to diminish the medication. Only issue though is he can't prescribe laughter in a pill bottle, right? So, in his research, he decided to start a laughter club with just five people in a Mumbai park. There wasn't a lot of research done at the time on the effects of laughter, but he found a, a paper published by Dr. Lee Burke from Loma Linda University in California. In the paper, Dr. Kateria at one point reads this one sentence, and here it is. Regardless of whether the laughter is real or simulated, the body makes no distinction. Eureka! And that's exactly what he did. He would make people laugh for no reason at all. And along with his wife, Midori, the yoga instructor, they termed and coined laughter yoga. And this is what we're gonna do right now. So in your home, in your living room, wherever you are, I will invite you to take part in the exercises that follow. And I promise you this, if you engage wholeheartedly, even if you're not in a good mood, you engage wholeheartedly and you force yourself to take on these exercises, you got a good chance of feeling the emotion associated to laughter. So let's begin. Every laughter yoga cl uh, class begins with this. What am I doing? <laughs> what are we doing? We are eliminating the judges that sit on our shoulders every day. And especially in laughter yoga, right? We're gonna be faking the laugh and a lot of people are not used to that. So if you're not a practiced laughter yoga participant, you're gonna feel strange, but that's okay. 
No one is judging you. And again, why are you laughing? You're laughing to feel better. We're doing something else now. You know what else we're doing? We're eliminating the stress, the anger, the frustration, the worry. And we've got a lot of that going on, right? So this is what this symbolizes. Okay. Now, in laughter yoga, we stimulate the pressure points. How do we do that? It's like acupuncture, but without the needles. We're gonna take our hands, open them wide, and just clap. Now in laughter yoga, we like to incorporate song and dance, and this is how simple we're gonna do it. We're gonna go with the beats. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. 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 Very good. If your hands are tingling, we are alive. Okay, we've stimulated our pressure points. Now, this is an exercise class, and you are free to go at your own pace. If we were going a little too fast, slow it down. If you want to go a little bit faster, no problem. So, everything we're going to do next, do it at your own comfort level. Now, notice I'm not standing, I'm not moving. Every exercise that's gonna follow will be done sitting down. So if there are any mobility issue, there are no issues in laughter yoga. All right, so the clapping, ho, ho, ha, 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 okay? That's about stimulating pressure points. And the ho, ho, ha, 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 what's that all about? Well, it's the sound of laughter. And what's really important is every laughter exercise exercises our lungs, especially when you ho, ho very powerfully, right? You're helping to eliminate that stale air that sits deep in your lungs. And when we eliminate that stale air, we allow new and fresher air to enter. So let's start with something called the gradient laugh. <laughs> the gradient laugh, we're gonna start low, and like a volume, we're gonna raise it higher and higher. All right, so once again, think of your lungs. Think of the breath you are giving to your lungs. Okay, so gradient laugh, we start really low. And again, this is a fake laughter. We're gonna engage in it and something may happen. It may turn into real laughter. And if it does, that's a beautiful bonus. Okay, let's begin. Starting low. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, mouth closed. <laughs> okay, gonna open the mouth a little bit. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> Take another deep breath. <laughs> One more deep breath. And now, as loud as you can. And bring it back. Okay, now when we are engaging in laughter exercises, what are we doing? We are increasing blood flow because our heart rhythm increases. And as this is happening and more blood is circulating in our bodies, we're helping to oxygenate our bodies even more. <laughs> so the open heart laugh, what is it? We're gonna take our fists, we're gonna take a deep breath and bring your fists to your chest, okay? And when you're sitting, make sure you're sitting straight, shoulders back, okay? Bring it to the chest and open arms wide and laugh. So open your heart. <laughs> bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. One more time, bring it back. <laughs> Excellent, very good, okay. Laughter yoga is good for the lungs. Laughter yoga is good for the heart. But you know what else it's good for? It's good for the abdominal muscles. I don't know if you ever experienced what I like to call a laugh attack. Now what is a laugh attack? You know, it's one of those moments something made you laugh and you couldn't stop laughing. Tears are coming down your cheeks, your face is all red, and you're clutching your stomach because your abdominal muscles are all contracted. So we're gonna do something called the silent laugh. 
So I'm going to invite you to contract the abdominal muscles and using imagination. I don't know if you've noticed already, but imagination plays a huge part in laughter yoga. Okay, so we're gonna imagine something is making us laugh, but there's a problem. We can't laugh out loud because we're gonna disrupt. Okay, so contract the abdominals, okay. deep breath and whoo now if you've been doing this with me I know you've been feeling the contraction of your abdominal muscles and guess what you just gave yourself about a hundred sit-ups and what's better this the laughter are going to do a hundred sit-ups those aren't fun at all okay so I repeat what have we been exercising our lungs the heart the abdominal muscles did you know that laughter yoga is great for the brain? In high stress, the body releases a lot of cortisol and adrenaline, right? And that's great because that's why we've survived uh, so many years as human beings here on earth. But the problem is in this high stress society and with a pandemic and with the isolation, Ah, we are experiencing an excessive production of these stress hormones that over time can do a lot of damage to our systems. So we can counter that by engaging in laughter every single day. Now, the other thing too, when we help to balance these hormones, right? Too much cortisol and adrenaline, you know what else could be the issue? That could increase our chances of developing diseases like dementia, Alzheimer's, that's scary stuff. So we need to laugh every day. Okay, so let's do some brain exercises. All right, again, using imagination and play in laughter yoga. I like this one a lot. I do these two next exercises that I'm gonna invite you to do with me. The first one is called the brainwash laugh. <laughs> Okay, what's it look like? I'm gonna invite you to put your hands as such in front of your forehead, and I want you to pretend like you're holding a zipper, okay? Now we're gonna do a sound of A as we open the zipper. Okay, let's do it. A. Okay, now we're gonna open our skull. A. Yep, take your brain out. A. All right, now I want you to imagine brain, what's it doing here? It is full of fear and worry and sadness, and we're gonna clean this brain. So we, I want you to take your brush and let's clean while laughing. <laughs> you can bring it down a level. <laughs> or bring it up. All right, looking good. Now, uh, don't forget to put it back. Let's do it. Eh, close it up. Eh, and zip it back. Eh, okay. The next laughter exercise that I do in honor of the brain is called the mental floss. <laughs> so, you know, you brush your teeth and you floss. Well, we're going to do the same thing with the brain. So I want you to pretend to take a long piece of floss. I want you to put it over your head like this. Okay. And now very gently go back and forth. Now, of course, what else are we doing as we're engaging in laughter yoga? Well, yeah, we're moving our upper body. So there's a little bit of stretching and, you know, putting some juice in the joints of our shoulders and our elbows. Okay. And guess what? Let's laugh a bit. <laughs> <laughs> very 
very good. Okay. <laughs> That's excellent. Now what I'm going to invite you to do with me are three ho, ho, ha, 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 followed by very good, very good, yay. Ho, ho, ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, 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 very good, very good, yay. Now why do we do these? These are cheers. And who are we cheering? Ourselves. Every morning, right? We got things to do. And, 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 and a lot of those feelings that overwhelm us, and they're not the good feelings. So every morning, if we start our day with some laughter and some cheering for ourselves, well, guess what? We are our best cheerleaders. So let's start three times, followed by very good, very good, yay. Let's do it. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Very good. Very good. Yay. Stretch it out as much as you can without hurting yourself. Okay. Now, in laughter yoga, we can actually take things that don't make us laugh and we laugh about them. Now, life challenges, right? Most of the times they fall in one of these three categories. Money or lack of, relationships, or not the so good ones, and our health. So let's take a laughter exercise for each of these and laugh about one of these issues. Let's start with money. <laughs> so yeah, money is an issue. Sometimes we don't have enough to pay our bills. What do we do? We put everything on credit card, right? And what happens at the end of the month, we get our statement, either via email or from the mailbox. Let's pretend we're going to our mailbox. I just grabbed my visa statement. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to be frightened by the number that I see here of money that I owe, but it's okay. Take a deep breath. Do this with me because you got your visa or your credit card statement in your hand. Okay, take a deep breath. <laughs> laugh a bit. Did the problem go away? No, it didn't. But you know what? It feels good to laugh, to change the mood and to lessen the fear of, yeah, we are going to have to pay that bill. Okay. Let's move on to the next issue. <laughs> Relationships, right? Some of them are really good. And sometimes other relationships, we get into arguments with our close family members, our children, our parents, our, our, our colleagues, our friends, whoever. Okay. So, and what do we do? We argue. We have a difference of opinion. I don't agree with you. You don't agree with me. So we're going to take our finger and we're going to wag it and shake it to the heavens. And we're going to do some arguing. Yes, we are. Are you ready to argue with me? How do we argue in laughter yoga? Like this. <laughs> Take a deep breath, both fingers. <laughs> Very good. Okay. And the last one, I don't know, but for the last year now, we've all been frightened about our health due to the coronavirus, right? That's out there. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do the coronavirus crush laugh. <laughs> But by the way, did you know that as you engage in daily laughter as an exercise, you're also helping to strengthen your immune systems. And if you have a strong immune system, you can fight off these viruses that are always around us. Okay, let's do it. Coronavirus laugh looks like this. Okay. You're going to take your fist. Okay. Now in the palm of your hand, there are about, eh, you know, 10 to 15 coronaviruses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. And this is not good. Okay, it's okay. We're going to crush them. Take your fist. Now, going to do a bit of stretching with the sound of A. Okay, take the fist and now wind it back a little bit. A, once. Again, A, twice. 
One more time. E, wind it back gently as far as you can without hurting yourself. Now bring the fist to the palm and let's crush the coronaviruses. <laughs> Let's do it again. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> very good. Okay. Three times ho ho ha ha ha. Followed by very good, very good game. Let's do it. Ho, ho, ha ha ha. Ho, ho, ha ha ha. Ho, ho, ha ha ha. Very good. Very good. Yay. How do you feel? Take a deep breath. And exhale. Now, the yoga in laughter yoga is about the breath. And there are words that we incorporate in our exercises. I am strong. I am healthy. We're going to take a deep breath. We're going to raise our arms to the heavens very gently. Just stretch. Take a deep breath and say, I am strong. Exhale, bring it back to your side, and say, I am healthy. Once again, I am strong. Exhale, I am healthy. And one last time, I am strong, and bring it back down, I am healthy. Now, why do we say these I am statements? Maybe you're not feeling strong. Maybe you're not feeling healthy. Doesn't matter. When we repeat these I am statements, it helps to create the reality that we want. And something else may happen. Those I am statements, the words that follow, find us. So choose wisely. Okay. Here's something else about laughter yoga. Okay. Bit of a recap summary. Benefits the lungs, benefits the heart, benefits the abdominal muscles, benefits the brain, benefits the entire immune system. But you know what else laughter does? It changes our energy. And when we change our energy, when our energy becomes more expansive, we help to attract the things that we want in our lives. Another reason to practice laughter yoga every day. <laughs> Remember earlier, we did the no money laugh, the visa, right? I got no money to pay this. Well, let's do the abundance laugh. We got a lot of money. In fact, we got too much money. We paid our debts, we've saved up. But now what do we do with this extra cash? We're gonna give it away. This is the abundance laugh. Let's do it. Let's give it away with the hand like this. <laughs> Spread it around. <laughs> Very good. Okay. You know what else laughter does? Again, we have money issues and we can help to have an abundance, right? What was the other one we did? It was about our relationships. Well, our relationships grow stronger when we're able to laugh with people in our workplace, in our home, with our children. <sighs> And actually, this laughter is especially dedicated to sending love to the most important person on the planet, you. Okay, let's do it. Take a deep breath. Extend the arms. Bring it back gently, wrapping your arms around you as you laugh. <laughs> Giving yourself a lot of love. Take a next exhale. Bring your arms back and... Ah, once again, giving yourself love and all the people around you as well. And last but not least, one more time. <laughs> and a good pat on the back. Good job. Excellent. And last but not least, as you know, our health is very important. And did you know that acting the way we want to be really helps to become it? So ultimately, in everything we do in life, what is our ultimate goal? What do we want for our own children? Yeah, happiness. <laughs> so let's act happy. Let's 
pretend we are basically very important, powerful people, which by the way, we are. Okay, so I want you to sit with your shoulders back. I want you to pretend that you are walking through the park and you are basically waving at everybody that passes by because you're an important person and people love you. <laughs> Three times. Ho ho ha ha ha. Followed by very good, very good, yay. Let's do it. Ho ho ha ha ha. Ho ho ha ha ha. Ho ho ha ha ha. Very good. Very good. Yay. Fantastic. People ask me, when's the best time to laugh? You know, any time is a great time to laugh, but I especially advise everyone to laugh first thing in the morning, as soon as we wake up. <laughs> right? You sit up in bed, two feet on the floor, take a deep breath. And just start with this. It takes nothing. This alone kind of already starts to program your body for the day ahead. Now, if you can do a little bit more, I don't discourage it. So you have a smile on your face. Take another deep breath. <laughs> you don't want to interrupt anybody in the house? <laughs> and just engage yourself. Force yourself to laugh. Remember, this is an exercise. And a lot of people are a little bit concerned by the fact that, yeah, but I'm, I'm faking it. It doesn't feel authentic. Again, this is an exercise. Any exercise demands one thing, and you know what that is? Effort. So when we engage in an exercise at first, requiring effort, a lot of times we just don't feel like engaging in that effort. But how do we feel after we've engaged in that effort? Whether it's exercises or laughter yoga, you feel better. And that's why we do laughter yoga. <laughs> how can you do laughter yoga every day? Well, you can take any type of chore in your house. I like to take, for example, washing the dishes. And as you take your plate and you're rubbing, you're, you're, you're cleaning your plate with your sponge, you could take a deep breath. <laughs> right? So these are ways that you can engage in strategic laughter throughout the day. You want to laugh, but you're a little bit worried about disrupting other people around you? No problem. The silent laugh. I am strong. I am free. Okay, so let's end this session with an I am statement, raising your arms to the heavens, bringing them back down to your side. Let's do I am powerful, followed by I am free. Here we go. Raise your arms to the heavens. I am powerful. Hold it, hold it. Exhale, I am free. Inhale, arms up and say, I am powerful. And exhale, I am free. And one more time, I am strong. And exhale, I am free. Why do we do laughter yoga? We engage in laughter exercises for health, for healing, for happiness. Now, after engaging in the laughter exercises, I hope you're feeling better. I hope your mood is a little bit more uplifted. I hope, I hope it inspires you to talk to other people about this and say, hey, did you know that you and I on the phone or on Zoom, we could just look at each other if we're on Zoom and laugh for no reason? Or find these laughter exercises, right? Maybe we'll do a YouTube search and we'll engage in a few of the exercises or take note of the ones that you did with me right now and do them with other people. All for feeling better and diminishing this feeling of isolation that we're all experiencing. And anyone can do laughter yoga regardless of limitations. All you need 
is an open mind, an open spirit, and an open heart. Again, laugh for health, laugh for healing. Thank you for joining me today in this laughter yoga session. Don't miss the next episode, Trivia with Joanna and Noah on March 26th here at We're All In This Together. When the sun is bright or in the <laughs> darkest night, we're all in this together. I've got many friends and you are one of them. We're all in this together. For love is like a smile Let's let's see you in a while We're all in this together